Uh, you're talking about a guy that um, convinced the county to take a community park and improve it so it was safe for all kids to use. You're talking about a guy that got helped get uh, street lights to Lelman when they were told they couldn't get any. You're talking about a guy that helped start the Lelman Community Association. You're talking about a guy that helped bring funding from the Juvenile Welfare Board to the Police Athletic League so we could thrive. You're talking about a guy that took a piece of property on Joe's Creek and convinced the county that it was not only a great estuary, but it should be open access for everybody. You're talking about a guy that's helped hundreds and thousands of people, whether they know it or not, in Lelman to improve their lives. And you want to know the legacy? I think the legacy is everybody who's here today to celebrate his life. Well, the development of the Joe's Creek Greenway Park is a classic example of, of working with Ray Neary and his ability to see the potential uh, in an asset that many folks overlooked. Uh, as a newly elected county commissioner, I wasn't aware uh, of this uh, space. Uh, and so, like many folks, Ray brought me out uh, to take a look at it. And it was full of invasive uh, species, a lot of dumping had occurred in the area, but Ray saw the potential of what could be a great uh, community uh, preserve uh, for Pinellas County and for the Lelman community, and was uh, the strongest advocate in working with uh, funders to make this happen, and securing about $1.8 million in county funding from the Penny Pinellas and CDBG grant funding, as well as other sources. Ray saw the potential here, and he was able to advocate that. And I think his greatest strength was helping other folks to see the potential uh, in an area. When we determined we were going to start Adopt-A-Block, the Juvenile Welfare Board really encouraged us to go into Leyland. 25,000 people, no grocery store, high crime, high poverty, high violence, high drugs. And so it was a good choice. And once we determined we were going to come into Leyland, we had heard of a man named Ray Neary. It's not a city in Leyland, so there's no mayor, there's no but he can go complain to, but he had a passion for the place and we'd heard about it. And it just felt like if we were going to be successful in Leoman, that we ought to go through this guy. So I called and said, can we get a meeting with you? And he said, sure. And it wasn't just Ray. He had set up so that we had people there from County Sanitation Department, from the Leoman and Asian Community Center, for some other players in the area. And <clears throat> They were all sitting there waiting for us. And I really thought this may not go well because we're, we're new guys on the block and our approach is very different than anything else. So we gave our spiel and Ray said, not only can you come in, but you tell us what you need and I'll get it for you. He said, if you were intending to knock on the doors of these hurting people and help them, I will support you 100 percent and he never faltered his loss is going to it's going to be tough but ray has taught several of us what to do and how to carry on and what and, and what we need to do to keep his legacy alive and we are going to try that and it's going to take the community and the leaders of the community to continue to fight for the residents and the building and the revitalization. But if we do that, Ray's legacy will live on. Well, street lighting is another great example of Ray's advocacy. Uh, as you know, in the unincorporated area, uh, street lighting is something that happens on a neighborhood by neighborhood basis. Uh, and Ray, working with Tony Clark and uh, other members of the Lelman community, helped uh, bring street lighting to many parts of Lelman and, and really improved uh, the sense of community. My favorite memory of Ray would be uh, definitely sitting in my office and just uh, quietly and listening to the kids playing and, and watching how excited he would get. It just, just telling me I love the sound of kids playing and, and the great pride he took in getting Pal here to Lelman. I would describe Ray uh, in terms of our personal relationship really as a, as a strong mentor. Um, when I was First elected in 2000, Lelman became a part of my district, and it was my first term in, in publicly elected office. 
And at that point, Ray had served in the Navy, he had been a businessman, and so we were at different stages in life. And Ray always uh, helped keep me grounded, uh, helped me keep me focused on the real issue. And that's not the politics of the day, and that's not doing things that are convenient, but doing things that uh, are truly going to benefit the folks that, um, that live in the Lelman community. I think annexation was a good example of that. Um, annexation was a volatile issue back in the early 2000s, and it was impacting the Lelman community and the Lelman Fire District. And that was really one of the first uh, battles, uh, so to speak, that, that we engaged in to help protect the Lelman community. And so when I think about Ray, it's always about um, purpose and the fact that we're only here for a limited time and um, we have a duty to do those things that serve the purpose that God gave each of us. Uh, Ray was explaining the lack of adequate park facilities in the Wyoming community and basically distilled it down to, Steve, uh, look, you guys are building parks for dogs and, and we don't even have a swing. It seemed very simple, but it was really very powerful and, and compelling. So we went to work to make sure they not only had a swing, but much more complete places for kids to play and community center and, you know, just leisure spaces for the community, green spaces. He was a giant and uh, as a public servant and a you know, champion for responsive government and uh, gave that community a tremendously strong voice, so uh, he'll be sorely missed. Denny's is a restaurant in Leoman, and it's one of only a couple. Leoman's not a city, so there's no city hall. Well, Denny's was Ray's city hall. If you want to have meetings, you have them at Denny's. And he was, he ran the place. When you walked in with Ray, you got service, you got the tables, it was a high time. The first meeting with Ray was at uh, Lelman Town Hall, known as the Denny's on 34th Street. And I remember it was De uh, Ray and uh, Mike Brophy from the Lelman Fire Department and a couple of other folks, and it was really just an introduction uh, that many folks have undergone with Ray. Five, seven years ago, he wanted to meet for coffee, and I was going to be downtown St. Petersburg, and I got him to come down to a coffee shop downtown. He got lost going there. And he, he never let me forget that I made him go downtown to one of those fancy schmancy coffee shops when we could have just met at Denny's. <laughs> he would bring that up time and time again. He never let me forget that I made him go all the way out of his comfort zone to some fancy schmancy coffee place. Uh, we did that once and only once. After that, we went to Denny's. <laughs> and that's where a lot of the real conversations happened. And that's where you learned the real things that were going on uh, is, was uh, a Denny's conversation. I think Ray's legacy will be with us for generations, whether it's a person in Lelman who has access to a great park like Joe's Creek, or investments that are made over the next three decades through the community redevelopment area that help with job training, education, improving the quality of life, uh, whether it's junior, juvenile welfare board programs that Ray has helped initialize, whether it's PAL. Uh, there's so many things that he's touched um, that all have the common thread of uplifting the community and providing opportunity, not just for just this generation, but for generations to come. Uh, that will be raised enduring legacy. This particular water heater is, is really important to us. It was donated by Ray Neary and his wife, Laura. After they'd heard the story about one particular family that didn't have one, Again, a slumlord situation. If it breaks, you fix it or you don't use it. And the particular grandmother and, and multiple kids that needed that, I'm paraphrasing, but she basically said, Pastor Bill, I know the kids are late for school. I, I know all the attendant issues. But do you know how long it takes to boil water enough to bathe five kids? And it broke my heart. And it broke Ray's heart. And so we got that lady a hot water heater, but there are more needs exactly like it. And so Ray and Laura donated this one. And these are some of the food boxes that we are distributors of for uh, the JWB. And as you know, as uh, you know, Ray Neary sat on the board with the JWB. He told us about these boxes, and we were able to become the distributors. In these boxes, we have meals for children. And these, these meals are to feed them during the, uh, during the weekdays and weekends and on the um, spring break and during the summertime. 
And each meal is different. We have several boxes. This one here is uh, beef ravioli, a juice, uh, dessert, and a cookie, and some grape candy. Ray was my buddy. And uh, um, there was one thing about Ray. When he got an idea in his head, he didn't want to hear why it wasn't going to work. You better start showing up with reasons you're going to make it work because he wasn't going to have any other thing but a yes. And uh, he did that and picked up this community and taught a whole community how to be leaders and uh, raised my buddy. I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss laughing with him. I'm going to miss uh, celebrating our successes with him. And I'm going to miss just calling him up and telling him the news of the day from Lelman because he had to know everything going on in Lelman.